performance by being rational so that is a thing that you need to remember as lightest of the uh, point that you need to remember then on this particular hand uh, on this particular axis the horizontal axis this particular set of definitions are divided uh, based on whether you are actually trying to meaning mimic the thought process that goes into the human mind before the human actually does a particular action or decides to do particular set of actions or i'm trying to actually make a system that not only totally thinks but also concentrates on the way the actions are delivered the way these sequences are altered or delivered so that is what the acting human the definition actually concentrates on after this we discussed about uh, if i want to design systems which are acting humanly then how do i test whether these systems that i have delivered or that i have created are they intelligent or not for doing it there are multiple examples or multiple tests uh, one of the important and uh, very much uh, prominent test that was uh, designed by alan turing during 1950s we discussed about it last lecture which is called as turing test and this turing test does what this turing test gives you a kind of a uh, benchmark test that decides whenever i developed or declare a system as an ai whether actually that system qualifies to be an ai or not so we to be able to crack this particular turing test a true ai that you create or an ai that you create would actually involve having these properties or having these at least these components at least i'm not saying only at least these components and those these components of ai might be the knowledge base the reasoning process the language understanding abilities and the learning abilities besides this nowadays people also are good at having a perception based on video audio uh, visual or an audit auditory inputs so i may actually consider that the capability of you doing image processing or uh, video processing should also be there and then Uh, the ability is to manipulate the physical layout using some sort of appendages like actuators can also be thought of being a, being available to the ai system if i am talking about only ai that is only is in terms of a software then this okay these one two three four things are okay as components but if i am saying that it is not just these four things but it is something like a humanoid or something like a robot not necessarily every robot is like humanoid i may have a uh, room cleaning robot okay a vacuum cleaner that nowadays you see that kind of appliances in that many locations uh, in western countries uh, they might not be seen that much in india but you see those in western countries and mid east uh, countries that there are autonomous vacuum cleaners cleaning a certain area maybe an office which is enclosed having multiple rooms or maybe a particular home or a mall or a public transport station something like that So these things, these autonomous uh, creatures or, or, or autonomous robots, if they want to be present, then I have to have some some sort of appendages that can manipulate the environment. Okay, I can have some physical appendages or physical uh, ability to manipulate the space around the particular agent. Okay, I should also have some sort of ability for these to do video and audio processing, auditory and video input processing. so these abilities i can add up to the components of ai and then i could think of a true ai that can actually act like a human being in a given scenario in an immersed way physical way as well not necessarily just in a software way but in physical way as well so that is what this turing test is and uh, which actually gives us gives us this particular answer or this particular abilities that an ai system should have the components of ai so there is one more, one bit in the syllabus of computer engineering what are the components of ai so you can understand these are the kind of components of ai i have already told a bit about what do you mean uh, what is the meaning of these components or what is the necessity of these components to be there so based on that you can decide what to write if somebody asks you a question of five marks maybe um, what are the major components of an ai system okay so these are not limited components by the way when you are discussing uh, this answer you should say okay these are certain things which are ingredient or core part of the components plus you may have some other things as well okay so based on this you can have then we also looked at if i want to actually have those definition is thinking humanly and model so laws of thoughts or cognitive evolution cognitive ability ko ye particularly 
मॉडल करने की कोशिश करता है ह्यूमन की वी टॉक अबाउट सर्टेन कॉग्निटिव एबिलिटीज बीइंग देयर इन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स दैट वी आर एबल टू डू नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग वी आर एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई द स्पीकर आइडेंटिफाई द लैंग्वेज व्हिच इज बीइंग स्पोकन ओके नॉट जस्ट लिसन बट फ्रॉम आफ्टर लिसनिंग गेटिंग दोस ऑडिटरी वेव्स इन आवर सिस्टम we are also able to understand what those sounds are or is it a sound is it a uh, textual speech or is it something else it is uh, some animal is actually showing some sort of a sounds making some sort of a sound so we are able to do identify that we are able to identify speakers as well so to to go to a greater detail we know when my mother is speaking i know when my mother is speaking you know when a particular person is speaking after hearing this words so we just don't listen to the sounds but we from the sounds we try to understand some higher order conceptions like the person's voice the animal voice if it is animal voice which animal's voice it is so on and so forth then we have cognitive abilities to uh, receive the imagery input using our eyes and then identify those image understand meaning of what is being received Okay, looking at a uh, looking at a rainbow, we understand that uh, it's not just the combination of colors, but we start thinking about certain poetry or certain higher order again abstraction. Like uh, we just feel that okay, seeing a rainbow, we feel nice, right? We feel energetic, we feel happy. Sometimes seeing a particular screen, we feel scared, we feel agitated, we feel. uh disappointed so there are a lot of things or emotions that also can get attached with whatever we are doing so all these abilities that we show they come under cognitive model so whenever we are actually developing techniques for replacing human's ability the thought process for showing these cognitive abilities maybe something like i am doing uh image understanding i am doing natural language understanding all these are that targeting the cognitive abilities of human being so whatever technique comes under the ai that we develop which are applied in this field uh, of replacing human cognitive abilities using a particular model or a particular algorithm or a particular program then those would come under the definition of thinking human being of ai okay so these four quadrants they are overlapping by the way it's not that when we are developing system which are thinking like human we are not considering considering the fact that ultimately these things that we are developing they should also have some connection to actuators so that these actuators can make them actually behave like humans but then uh, there is a separate uh, kind of level of understanding or level of implementation i should say would require for these things to be existent okay finally we came to the other quadrant which is thinking rationally so thinking rationally is basically relates to laws of thoughts that is use certain laws laws okay to govern the chain of reasoning that we do or chain of reasoning that goes into our mind before we take the decision so the black box if i consider agent as okay it will have sensors which will give you the percepts so percepts can come inside the agent through the appendages called as sensors and it may have certain things or certain appendages called as i actuators actuators okay which can impart actions on the environment that is this environment i can consider a strip like structure called as environment i can have an environment i can have the agent okay so inside this there is something called as a thought process going around right so when thinking rationally is the way to go about defining an ai we are actually talking about all the ai algorithm system techniques that concentrates on this black box this black box so we are talking about implementing this black box we are actually not looking at how these percepts would be received using sensor how they will be converted and given input to this guy this question mark thing the thought process and how i decide to get the action so uh, how i decide to imp up, impart the action okay so this is actuators and this is the action okay action is the result of actuation actuation so hand se maine uh, kisi lever ko on off kiya 
कि किसी स्विच को ऑन ऑफ किया मैं क्रिकेट खेल रहा हूँ तो मैं बैट को घुमाया हाथों से तो माई हैंड आर एक्चुएटर्स वेन आई एम रनिंग ऑन अ फील्ड ट्रैक एंड फॉर अ ट्रैक एंड फील्ड डिफेंड माई फूड फीट आर नथिंग बट माई एक्चुएटर्स विच आर टेकिंग मी फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू दी अदर प्लेस ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रैक ओके सो दीज आर नॉट दी ओनली एक्चुएटर्स वी हैव मल्टीपल वेज ऑफ गिविंग एक्शंस many a times if i am a speaker my mouth and the auditory system that i have that is entirely going to be the actuators that i will be using okay and always there will be some processing going around in my mind in deciding what to speak what to say what not to say what example to give even even at this point in time i am using my voice as an actuation mechanism my actually my mouth and all the other associated uh, systems i'm using them as actuators okay so actuation would refer to this particular part of the story of agent architecture sensor and the percept is the input part so output part input part agent and the question mark refers to thinking rationally that is thinking using the laws of thought so ultimately when you go to rational behavior acting rationally you are now talking about this entire box together and not concentrated on the question mark only so thinking rationally concentrates on question mark whereas acting rationally we are concentrating on the overall product okay so that is the change of the way of looking at or zooming down at the uh, agent abstraction that these definitions do okay ultimately as i told you this week we are going to start talking about rational agent or half an hour liya apne ye sab yahan tak aane ke liye but then it is required it is just a revision of the things that we are doing and why we are doing what these four quadrants are four quadrants doesn't mean uh, we are uh, only looking at a smaller picture of ai but we are trying to actually uh, understand ye jo bada ai gambit hai usme ye chote chote pieces of technology jo hum log learn kar rahe hain wo kahan baithenge cognitive science kahan aayega ओके लॉजिक कहाँ आएगा ओके क्यों आएगा सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू आंसर दोज क्वेश्चन वेन वी आर लुकिंग एट इट नाउ दैट वी रियलाइज दैट एंड इट इज अ जनरल रियलाइजेशन बाय द एआई रिसर्चर्स एज वेल कि रैशनल एजेंट के बारे में अगर मैं सोचूं और मैं ये एब्सट्रैक्शन यूज करूं टू रिप्रेजेंट सम रियल वर्ल्ड सीनारियोज वर ह्यूम आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कंप्यूटेशन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू रिप्लेस दैट ह्यूमन बी एज एन एजेंट then it is a good kind of an abstraction okay so what is an agent agent is an entity that perceives an act okay ye thoda short definition hai yani iska iska agar longer version chahiye to you can read the book the longer version of this definition is an agent is an entity that can perceive its environment and acts upon the environment using actuators perceive the environment using sensors and acts upon the environment using actuator so that's the Whole definition of what is an agent. So somebody asks you, what is an agent? Agent is an entity that can perceive the environment in which is working using the sensors and acts upon the environment using the actuators. Okay, so this way, agent is a black box for us that has inputs taken using the sensors. an output given using the actuators the input that agent receives through sensor it is referred to as percepts okay so this terminology comes in handy to understand an agent abstraction percept okay the second thing so these percept these agents they actually are in a dialogue with the environment through the sensors and actuators it is like a continuous dialogue it's not a one time kind of uh, interaction so many a times I, I, sometimes it is one time as well but most of the time it is a interaction and whenever an interaction is occurring my percepts are coming at a temporal level okay they might be continuously coming one after the other or they might be coming in a discrete manner thode thode der baad aayenge right so these percepts which come across different time instances then that percept doesn't become now a single percept but collection of percepts so we call them as percept sequence okay 
whether they are coming at uh, a discrete granularity time level or whether they are coming at a continuous time level okay whenever i am representing all the inputs which are which the agent has received so far okay what is percept sequence uh, sorry i correct this spelling sequence spelling is correct so what is percept and what is percept sequence? percept is uh, input that i receive at a time instant so t0 ko sensor ne kya dekha Okay, that is what okay, T zero के जगह पे मैं T I लिख देता हूँ, so that it will be a general general kind of kind of notion. So what does agent saw, okay, or received whenever I just made a call to sensor and identify what has happened in, at a T I -th instance. That is what is referred to as percept. Okay, what is a percept sequence? Percept sequence is from T zero. So whenever the agent started its operations t0 is the time at which agent started the operation up to ti ti is the instance when i actually am trying to uh, pull the sensor so there may be multiple sensors to your agent right you can think of an agent like a human agent which has uh, many different kinds of sensors so five sensory organs we have okay so we have multiple sensors so we are being with agents with multiple sensors obviously then uh, for a particular sensor whenever i pull okay at a particular time instance ti and if i remember all the previous percepts that i have received till now so from t0 to ti what all percepts that the agent receives have received is called as percept sequence so it's a sequence of percepts and percept is a single entity or a single person so i should put these things into a new So remove this. I'll get to I'll get a new page and put it over here so that will be much more understandable. Okay, so these are the two concepts that we need to understand: percept and percept sequence. Okay, so whenever I say T zero T I, uh, these are some time granularity levels. So if I have a continuous system, if I have a continuous uh, system, then I can't have T I T zero T one T two T I. Okay, it's a motion. the percepts are coming continuously i am remembering those percepts in some some other other manner so i may have a system which is receiving signals discreetly discreetly like for instance i my agent imparts something on the environment environment state changes and as the state changes there is a signal generated from the environment and my sensors capture that signal okay something like uh, when you are actually uh, trying to hit an object using some some particular say ball or say suppose you are playing that uh, game like uh, dart throwing or something like that. so if i actually uh, see that particular chart and i throw a dart okay now that dart goes and hits that particular piece on the wall okay and i get to know my marks right उसके बाद मेरा स्टेट चेंज होता है अभी अगली बार मुझे डांट फेंकना है दैट इज अनदर सीक्वेंस सो माय परसेप्ट्स आर नाउ गोइंग टू बी नॉट कंटीन्यूअस बट इट विल बी कंसीडर्ड फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ इंटरेक्शन एज डिस्क्रीट ओके सो माय हाउ आई परसीव द एनवायरमेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट माय एनवायरमेंट स्टेट शुड बी अ डिस्क्रीट स्टेट दैट आई एम व्यूइंग और इट कैन कैन बी अ कंटीन्यूअस स्टेट uh something like uh, i'm actually looking at water that is there getting accumulated in a dam okay i'll be continuously watching that water level go or if i'm walking suppose and i'm maintaining a particular pace and my uh, mobile phone is recording my pace this is going to be a continuous process or if i'm navigating a map and on that ma uh, and, and, and my gps location is being tracked so i can consider this to be a continuous process so there are continue there could be certain continuous uh, sensing environments and discrete sensing environments so i just i'm trying to give you certain brief details about how we can think of these things with related to agents so agent as a abstraction i told you it's a black box okay for us when we talk about this black box and want to 
convey certain details the details that i need to convey about the agents could be first it's organ to consider its organization one component it has or it should have is sensors okay sensors does what they give you get the percepts inside the system okay percepts a single at a time is considered as a percept percept sequence is the sequence of percepts received till the point when we pull the sensor okay so that is one side of the sensor physical organization of the sensor the other side of the physical organization of sensor is actuators okay actuators jo kaam karte hai usko bola jata hai action okay again action could be an action that is being so action that is being performed at time i okay a single action so it's a single action that is what you need to understand and there could be an action sequence this will be collection of actions a 1 up to a i till particular time okay so that is how i can distinguish the interactions between an agent and its environment and the appendages that actually take care of these in the agent architecture could be sensors and actuators So the interaction between an environment and agent is quantified using the percept as input and action as output at a particular time.